What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. So in today's video, we're going to be covering should salt belong in crappy plastics? So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna go pretty much in depth. It's gonna be a real short video because there's a really, really simple answer to this. So should salt be and crappy plastics. Now, when we talk about salt and plastics, most people are referring to bass fishing, uh, saltwater fishing, just something where the fish, you know, like the best way I can explain this, say, you know, this is a rubber worm. You know, you're, you're throwing a zoom rubber worm on a Texas rig for bass. The bass, you know depending on the size of your worm like if you're throwing like a seven eight inch worm normally when a bass bites he's gonna you know head down on it and he'll bite and then you 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 know as a i don't if you've ever bass fished before you know i know a lot of you are crappy fishermen but if you've ever bass fished before you get a bite and then you're like oh that's a bite you wind down and then you make sure he's there but what the fish is doing is I'm going to bite this. Then if he likes it, he's going to bite it again. And eventually it's going to end up in his mouth and you set the hook and you got your fish. Now where salt plays into that picture is I'm going to bite this. Oh, it kind of tastes pretty good. It tastes like a Big Mac. I want more. I'm going to bite it again. And the whole theory around, you know, salt and scent and all that in plastic is when that fish bites it and he don't like it, he's going to let go. Now, that may be very, very true in the bass fishing world. But let's go back to the crappy world real quick where we've got a crappy man green, little stinker, and we've got our old trusty zoom trick worm over here, which is reality of a monkey milk. All right, if a crappy bites this, they're not just gonna bite the tail. Majority of the time, I'm sure it happens. The majority of the time, this whole bait is engulfed. When you crappy fish, you hit them as soon as you feel it. When you bass fish, you give them a second. Now, I don't care if they're eating, you know, a topwater frog, uh, what else? Uh, a jig on the bottom, a rubber worm. The only time you really hit a fish as soon as you feel the bite, it's like a spinnerbait or a crankbait. But with a crappy, they're gonna engulf the whole bait. I don't give a daggone if that bait tastes good at all. Because when I feel it go in their mouth, the hook's going in the top of their mouth and they're coming in the boat. But, Let's get scientific real quick to give you an exact answer that I would provide to anybody that asks me, does salt belong in crappy plastic? Now, does salt have a smell? It may, it may, honestly, but I'm not a firm believer on scent, so that's, you can leave that to the next guy that's gonna tell you about that. Salt, all right, say this bait has salt, this bait don't. If we throw this out and I want it to stay in the strike zone for as long as possible to get the best result of catching that fish. So I got this on a 132 ounce, which falls about, you know, three fourths of a foot a second, give or take. And I have one with salt. Well, I think this one has salt. It don't matter. This one has salt now. If this one has salt, that changes the rate of fall. Salt is more dense in plastic than just, you know, regular plastic with um, oil and scent and all that that's mixed into ours. So, when this one hits the water, it's going to do the three-fourths foot a second with a 132 ounce. When this one hits the water, since it's more dense, it's going to weigh more. So, it's going to fall probably a foot, a foot a second. So, I mean, you don't think that's a lot. You really don't but when you're fishing in 20 feet of water and these fish are suspended at eight feet of water and you make a, a 15 to 20 foot cast and you want that bait to be in the strike zone for as long as possible a salted bait is going to fall longer 
than a regular bait and this bait's gonna stay up in the water column and this bait's gonna go below them and that, that's the main reason why here at Crappy Man Jigs you will never see salt in our bait because we want you to catch more fish now would salt help i still it, there's no reason for it because when a fish bites a jig that's you know one to two inch three inches long the whole thing's going in their mouth they don't have time to taste you're going to set the hook you're going to catch that fish and you're not going to put salt in your stuff because you want that jig to stay above the fish so you get more bites